it's Leela welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title of this video today we're gonna be doing some Maddie inspired looks if you guys don't know who Maddie is she is a character in the show euphoria I absolutely was like obsessed with this show when it came out I watched every episode every week when it came out if you guys haven't watched it it's on HBO it's a really good show it is a little bit sensitive as far as topic wise it does cover a lot of drug abuse and you know abusive relationships domestic violence things like that so just be wary that there is some sensitive material in the show it just ended I believe a few weeks ago so um, you can binge watch the whole season now which is fantastic <laughs> but I love the looks that they created in euphoria like they're very much like editorial out of this world which is amazing I think they're beautiful and the makeup artists really deserve like all of the attention and all of the credit for all of these looks I'll link the Instagram for her makeup artist right here because the looks she did are amazing but honestly I was obsessed with the show so I figured I might as well recreate some looks I've seen this video going around and I'm just like I need to jump on this trend like right now I'm really excited I have all my makeup set up for all the looks that I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna do four of her looks or I'm gonna see how many I can get through because I feel like this is gonna be a long video so let's see how many of the looks I can get through but my goal is to do four of them so let's see how many I get through <laughs> without giving up so we're gonna do the whole shebang we're gonna do face makeup we're gonna do eye looks we're gonna do all of it and we're gonna turn into Maddie. I'm so excited. <laughs> but before we get on, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Open up. You open up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is our face, because we need to get our face done. So Maddie's face makeup is very simple. Like I know a lot of the looks that she's done don't really even have like a lot of like bronze or blush. Like and she's not very heavy. It's very natural. So I'm going to be going in with my Stay Naked foundation. I'm not going to go heavy with the primer. I'm actually just going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer Water. Well, I got some of that in my mouth. Just to give ourselves something to work with. I'm gonna take my cat ears and we're gonna push my hair back because you girl worked real hard on her hair. I was about to say I just got this new hair waver but I didn't. I stole it from my friend. <laughs> she like left it at my house and I've been like absolutely like abusing it but she already sent me the link. I'm gonna buy my own but this hair waver, can we just take a moment? I love the mermaid vibes. Anywho, I have to say that because she watches all my videos and so she's gonna be like, really bitch? Did you really? <laughs> so let's go in with this foundation. So I am gonna be using the shade 50WY. I also just self tanned, so this might not match me, but oh well. From what I can tell, Maddie really is using like a medium cover, you know, a light coverage, sheer coverage kind of foundation, but look. We got lots of hyperpigmentation going on. We got some pimples. We got some things going on. So as much as Maddie looks super flawless, I don't. So we're going to go for medium coverage today. So if you guys don't know or haven't watched the show, Maddie is like the school's like it girl. She's very um, confident and she's like... Ya bad Latina little mommy spicy mommy. I love it. That's why I'm like obsessed with her But she is with one of the main characters in the show His name is Nate and they are in an on again off again kind of relationship It's very toxic. Her mom is an esthetician So she sees all these rich ladies that her mom works on and just kind of is like I want to be I want to be that lady I don't I want to be the one sitting there getting groomed married to the rich guy so she kind of has this attitude of like not being driven, doesn't want a career, um, kind of just wants to just sit back and chill, which I don't blame her, but there's also something great in being independent and doing, you know, getting your own bag and things like that. 
so since we did that I am gonna do a little bit of concealer just because I have a lot of bags and we want to look extra flawless like Maddie so I'm gonna be using my born this way naturally radiant concealer this is in the shade medium nude and I'm just gonna dot it under my eyes just so we have a little bit of coverage and then I'm gonna put a little bit just to highlight like you know my areas but yeah honestly guys like the show is amazing amazing I can't wait it was literally like not even halfway through the first season when they already announced they renewed it for a second season like it was insane also shout out to uh drake for being a producer on euphoria my little champagne poppy i'm like obsessed with drake if you guys like didn't know <laughs> concealers blended out and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of setting powder and i'm actually gonna use a brush and i'm just gonna dust my under eyes this is my wet and wild photo focus setting powder by the way I was looking at her face makeup she puts a little bit of bronzer not too much so I gotta be really really light-handed with this I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty caramel cutie bronzer I'm just literally gonna just lightly we just want to give our face a little bit of dimension we just don't want to look flat so the first one I think I'm going to do is like the really extra one, which is literally a full cat eye of diamonds. And she just has like blue in her, as for her eye base. I don't have a foiled blue eyeshadow, so we're going to do just a regular blue eyeshadow and maybe a silver. So I'm going to be going into this MAC palette that I have. It's called the Shiny Things Eye Party. And I'm going to be going into this blue shade right here and i am just going to work that on the like outer v she has it in a cat eye shape so i'm gonna just pat it and work it in And I'm just slowly dragging the excess into that V shape. And then we're going to clean it up afterwards with a makeup wipe. This color is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. I think I might actually just take some of this. I have this Tarte Foil Finger Paints little palette. But this blue I was assuming was too dark. But I think if I mix the two, it, we might be okay. Ooh, that's perfect because it still looks a little teal. Okay, cool. The looks in the show are just so fun because if you think about it, like when you're in high school, like nothing is like perfect and clean, like when it comes to makeup. So we just have like a, a parade of options. You know, we don't have to worry about it being super clean or very precise or like cut our crease or like, you know, we don't have to worry about any of that. It's very like, fun and let's just experiment i'm gonna clean up the underneath perfect Ooh, this looks so cute this is a 214 mac brush i'm just gonna go into the same tart foiled shadows and i'm gonna go into that silver shade and i'm gonna pack that onto the inside of the lid oh yes that's so pretty So pretty. I'm already living for this. Those are the only two colors we're gonna use. Oh, I didn't do my eyebrows. Okay, so Maddie has very messy brows. She doesn't do anything crazy. So I'm just gonna be taking my Gimme Brow, Gimme Brow from Benefit, and I'm just gonna comb through them and give them a little bit of zhuzh. Now for the fun part! I'm so excited. This is like... This is the whole reason I did these looks. So I'm gonna go in with my gems and I'm just gonna use some lash glue to apply them. So here's the thing. I already tried to do this and it didn't work out because I blinked and I... Because I was going like this when I applied the gems. When I relaxed, all the gems ended up in my crease. So the key to this is doing it right above your crease. So I'm actually just gonna start here 
and I'm just gonna dot some lash glue so that my gems will stick. Oh yes. So that I got the bottom. Oh, she does have a little bit of makeup on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna take a, like a flat brush and I'm just gonna go into this blue shade right here. And I'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line. It's gonna be covered by the gems, but she does have a little bit of color. Okay, now I'm gonna go along the top. So I'm gonna relax my brows so that way that we don't put the gems too low in the crease. It looks like they dragged the inner corner for that little point in the middle. So I'm just going to add a little bit of extra of that silver into a point so that we can put the gems like right in this area. Okay, now we're going to go on to the lower lash line. And the key to this is to get it as close as you can. My poor lower lashes. <laughs> this is kind of cute. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other eye in, I'll be right back. I'm really upset because my eyes shapes like don't match. But I think this one came out so much cuter. So we're just gonna like ignore her and we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight. Just for some sheen. And then last but not least, the lips. I'm gonna take this shade um, from NYX Cosmetics. It's in the shade London. And then I'm gonna be taking my Kylie Cosmetics um, high gloss in the shade Snatched. And I'll be right back. So Maddie has really big lips, so I'm just gonna overline them and then take the gloss in the center. So I zoomed it in so you guys can see. And this is what the final look looks like. Let's get on to the next look. This one's gonna be the gemmed crease. I'm super excited. This one's really, really, really pretty. So from what I looked at in my collection, I don't have a perfect eyeshadow combo for this so i ended up using a lot of the colors from the aurora highlight palette from anastasia just because it has a lot of those like really pretty like luminescent colored kind of looks that we were going for um so for this one i am going to be going into the jeffree star palette plus that just because i need literally one shade from the jeffree star palette i'm going to be using the shades back and my from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm gonna be using this crease brush it's the JS5 and I'm just gonna mix the two and put that right in the crease so we're nice and pink now I'm gonna be taking my Aurora palette and I'm gonna go into this blue shade right here and we're gonna put that all over the lid and to do that, I'm going to be taking be taking this fluffy MAC brush and I'm just going to dip in to that shade and really just like distribute that all over the lid. Oh, the pink and the blue look so cute together. And then she does have like a purple-ish liner. I don't have a purplish liner, so I'm just going to be taking this JS13 and I'm gonna go into the shade Spectra from the um, Aurora palette and I'm gonna mix it with that blue shade it's called Orion and I'm gonna drag that along the lash line and then she does have a little bit of purple on the under on the lower lash line so I'm going to put some it might not be like the most prominent kind of color for the under eye but It'll at least give you a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just going into the crease and cleaning it up a little bit just so that it's nice and smooth. Before lashes is just the gem. So again, I'm gonna relax my eye and just follow this line that's above my crease. 
And she literally just did like a rainbow right over her eye. And they're a little spaced out. Perfect. Ugh, this is so cute. Okay, and then I have to put some lashes. I'm so sorry guys, I didn't even put lashes on in the last look. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. Okay, well the last look is gonna be a no lash having look. Dang it, why did I do that to myself? Like why do I do these things to myself? I'm so sad. Oh well, it's too late now. Okay, let's put some lashes. All right, guys, here's look number two. I think it came out super cute. I, like, hate when I do my makeup and I, like, don't want to take it off. But it's so cute. Okay, guys, look number three is going to be the pink look with the pink liner. So I'm going to use my Jeffree palette for most of this because it's pretty cohesive with the palette of the eye look. So I think I'm going to go into the shade My. Kind of like I did with the last one, but I'm only going to do the pink shade by itself. My crease is burning with all of this wiping and <laughs> reapplying. I got to do it for the tube though. I'm going to take another fluffy MAC brush and I'm going to go into back, which is the more pink shade right here. Not right here. <laughs> So I'm going to put back all over my lid and then I'm going to go in with the glittery shade 2 and I'm going to top that with the glitter. Since this one's a little bit more pinky, I feel like you can't see the glitter so I'm just going to take my finger. Yeah, that's kind of the look I was going for. Perfect. And then we do have a wing. And it kind of looks like the shade Calabasas. So I'm going to be taking my Jeffree Eyebrow Brush, but I like to use this for liner. And then I'm going to go into the shade Calabasas. And I'm going to give myself a little wing. And then she just has a little bit of the pink on her lower lash line. So I'm going to take another fluffy brush from MAC and just take some of the pink and run it underneath. So I decided to take the brush and kind of smudge out some of the liner. That way it's not so harsh of a line like on the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade Calabasas and run it under the lash line as well. And then I'm just gonna finish the look by dragging the pink into the inner corner. They did do matte on the inner corners, so. She does have gems on her, on her brows and on her lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to put lashes, and then we will be done with this look. So before her art, at her art. And then the other three stones are smaller, so I'm going to go back to that size that I used for the inner corner. Right here. And that is the finished look. I think this one came out so cute. I love this pink vibe that we have going on. And the cute, oh, I didn't put the lower lash jewels. What is wrong with me? Out here by the wing. And then she has one here and here. Okay, now this is the final look. <laughs> I think it's even cuter with like the extra diamonds. I'm happy I remembered. This is so cute. See, these are looks that I like want to put on and just like wear all day long. Like I really don't care about any of the looks that I'll get out in public <laughs> for looking like this. Okay, last and final look, thank God, because my eyes are screaming at me. <laughs> it's going to be Maddie's prom look. So that black smoky eye with like the really nice, um, gold center so to do that i'm going to be taking this fluffy brush from mac and i'm going to go into my morphe jeffree star palette 
and I'm gonna be using the black shade right here one thing to keep in mind when using black is to be very 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 careful and very light-handed because if you're not this could go really bad really fast so I'm just gonna pat this into the outer V and we're gonna keep this focused right in this little V now I'm gonna take this really skinny brush from Morphe this is the JS 12 and I'm going to just take whatever's here and drag it into the crease so I'm not gonna add any extra shadow And then I'm going to dip it very lightly into the black and smoke out just the outer V. Okay, and then now we're going to clean it up. So the outer V is done. I'm going to go into the middle with my Tarte Foil finger paints. And I'm going to take that same flat brush from earlier. And I'm going to go into that same silver shade and just put that all over the lid. Oh, this is such a nice look. I'm in love. And that's it. It's just the two colors. And then the last thing we do is just add the gems, of course. Three going along the top and then two right underneath it. All right, guys, this is the final look. I honestly didn't think this was going to be my favorite, but I'm really digging it. This is so cute. I'm living for this right now. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I got through all four looks. I'm so proud of myself. My eyes hate me right now because they are so sore from all the wiping and the makeup wipes. But I had so much fun making this video. I think all the looks came out so good. Um, if you guys have any other video suggestions or any other characters you guys want me to do from Euphoria, let me know. If you guys want me to do any other looks, just let me know in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!